Grief, anxiety, and isolation, they've been at the forefront of the past 16 months. A free telehealth program born during the pandemic is helping our Kansans through those struggles and more. But the demand continues to grow. Michael Aaron has more in this week's Mind Matters segment. It's, it's urgent care is essentially what we're doing. Tony Boaz is program manager for AR Connect, UAMS's virtual mental health clinic. What we do is provide short-term mental health services for clients, patients, anyone in Arkansas, anywhere in Arkansas. And that includes therapy and psychiatric uh, med management. The grant funded program started in May 2020 and has been growing ever since. Patients dealing with mental illness or crisis call and speak with a nurse who will triage and schedule a telephone or video appointment with a mental health professional. From the first call to getting your first scheduled appointment it was within 72 hours. Um, and so that's really kind of unheard of right now. By providing up to six appointments, AR Connect works to help people get the immediate care they need and connect them with resources and long-term treatment options. It's serving as a bridge to keep these people connected as well to these longer-term providers. Boaz says the program has already served about 1,200 clients from across the state, including many in underserved areas. Health insurance is not required and no one pays a penny out of pocket. There are people out here ready to help you if you need it. Uh, um, and I mean, I don't know, I don't know what the future holds with COVID, um, but we're here for you, for everyone. You might remember last week we told you about more than $5 million going to help mental health care programs across the state of Arkansas. AR Connect will receive some of that money. If you want to learn more about the program or make an appointment for yourself, we have a link for you on THV11.com. Michael Laird, THV11 News. Boaz says this program is not for people in the middle of an emergency. In that case, you should call 911 or go to the nearest emergency room immediately.